Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Prolock number EPL-101-AL. This is a turn knob patio lock is what it is, and there is a link below this video to these installation instructions which are printed on the back, so you don't need to pause this video and, and review that. This is the AL, or the aluminum color. This is also available from Prolock, I believe in white. Let's review. Indeed, it's available in aluminum and white finish. White's obviously very common for residential applications. Let's take a look at this lock in detail. Aluminum body. This is what it looks like in the unlocked position. If you were to take the knob and pull it out, pull it out because it's spring-loaded, is how you're going to lock and unlock. Okay. We'll come with a couple of screws for installing it. Patio door lock top knob. Again, just pull on that. Inside, outside sliding doors, meaning you can have sliding doors where your exterior is on the exterior. You can have sliding doors where that active door is also on the interior. It's going to work really in either scenario. There's a pictogram, so to speak, below this video that will show you what uh, different installations will look like, uh, depending on how your uh, setup is. There's no hard and fast rules of where or how you install this, just so that it's effective for allowing you to lock what you need to lock. Inside um, locks door in fully closed and a ventilating position. What that means is you could take and as you see there, drill two holes. Drill yourself a hole so that the door is in the locked position. Drill yourself another hole so that you've slid the door back. Drill that second hole so that you can have it in a ventilated position. Maybe, uh, you know, wherever you drill it is up to you. You could have ventilating one inch. You can have it two inch or anything that fits your needs. You might uh, want to be sure if you don't have a screen behind it, which would be unusual uh, to not have a screen on sliding patio doors, that nothing will get through that doesn't or isn't supposed to get through, certainly. Um, but I think the ventilating position on my opening is somewhere in the three inch range, something like that. Um, again, no hard and fast rules, but there it is. Now, let me give you the dimensional properties of this lock. The overall width of the base is two and a quarter, and that's what it's listed at here from Prolock. The depth of the base, inch and an eighth. They've got it at inch and a half. I'm going to say that that's going to refer to the overall height or projection, and it's not, but it's close, about an inch and three eighths. So that's going to be inch and an eighth on the body. They might be meaning with the bolt extended, and that gets us to inch and three quarter. Or it could just be a typo. With the bolt retracted, that gets us down to that inch and a half. Maybe that's what they mean. Inch and a half from here to the back side. Okay. Projection on that bolt, let's take a look and see how far that. When it's in the unlocked position, it's projecting 5 sixteenths of an inch. And when we throw the bolt, it will bring it out to 5 eighths of an inch. So throw, the, pr the throw is 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths retracted gets to 5 eighths, 5 sixteenths throw. So keep that in mind when you are considering uh, your door construction, making sure that it can tolerate a hole not only drilled into it, but also drilled uh, that deep as well to accommodate. Now let's get the caliper and take a look at the diameter of the bolt itself. And that is 0.327. 0.327 diameter, and it's got a tapered edge there, or a bull-nosed edge, or a radius edge, I should say. Okay. Now, that link below this video to the installation instructions, and if I've not called it out, screws are included. That link below this video to the installation instructions allows us to review the procedure to install using the illustrations as possible locations on where you may choose to install the lock. Pick the location that best fits your door and needs. Close the sliding door tight. With the locking bolt in the unlocked position, place the lock in the desired location. 
with a sixteenth of an inch clearance between the end of the bolt and the location of where it will be drilled. You want to have some clearance there is what they're saying. Mark the screw holes. Drill an eighth of an inch holes to install the screws. You've got slotted preparations there with those slotted preparations that are there you want to take advantage of drilling right in the center so that you can make any minor adjustments laterally once you've got it installed. Close the door tight, extend the bolt, mark the hole, carefully drill a pilot hole and then follow with a 930 seconds of an inch for this. Increase the hole size to 3 eighths of an inch if necessary. I'm going to think 3 eighths will be more appropriate because that's really only about 40 thousandths greater than what we measured the diameter of this to be. Tip, you may add another hole with the door open a few inches for ventilation. And that's it. There is a link below this video to, a, to the manufacturer's page within our website where you can review not only all of the ProLock products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog, or actually all of their full product catalogs. And what I mean by that is you're going to have the Armor Catalog, and the catalog called Armor Catalog is where you will find this and other security hardware from ProLock, other sliding door locks. You will find latch guards, you will find U-shaped door reinforcing wraparound plates. The ProLock Product Catalog is their locksmithing tool catalog, their locksmithing key cutting machines, and their lock picks, and things that are related to the locksmithing industry. And then you will find some instructional information like videos. You will find the ProLock commercial product guide which is a handy document just to look at a quick view of the commercial products they offer. Their California keychain catalog, it's novelty key blanks. Uh, and then of course a link to the MAG cross-reference chart. There are many items that are identical from the old MAG line to ProLock so that might be helpful to bridge from an old part number you have from MAG to the ProLock part number. If you have any questions on the ProLock EPL-101-AL sliding door lock or any other ProLock product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.